mortgage is obviously the subject of a lot of conversation and discussion over the last uh, number of weeks. Uh, first of all, let me begin by saying that the allegations which are at the heart and center of this issue are simply not true. As I've said from the very beginning, uh, these transactions were standard transactions, standard rates. I never sought any special treatment, was never offered any special treatment. I uh, was never aware of any unique or special treatment. Uh, had I been so, believe me, I would have terminated the relationship with that institution, uh, that institution immediately uh, along the way. I never, uh, never dealt with Angelo Mazzillo or whatever his name was, or any senior executive at Countrywide at all. Um, no one ever contacted me at all to deal with any of these matters. Having said that to you, I, I believe most of you are aware that there is an inquiry being conducted appropriately so by the Senate Bipartisan Committee on Ethics, uh, which was announced back in June, uh, time they were moving forward. Uh, I've welcomed that inquiry, been fully cooperative in anything they've requested or need uh, for me, uh, my family, regarding this matter. Uh, additionally, I've said that I will release documents at the appropriate time, which I will do. Uh, I'm as disappointed as anybody that this inquiry is not complete. I can't believe that it would have been done in August or September. Uh, here we are in the middle of October, uh, we may be going to November, December. I have no idea when this is going to be completed. Uh, and I don't think it's probably appropriate to ask either, since that might be accused then of trying to tamper with, a, with the committee's work. Uh, but when it is done, and it ought to be done in my view, that's where the appropriate work is being done. And that's probably what I should have explained earlier and didn't. And I apologize to people for not laying this out. Why wasn't he willing to turn over documents? That's the reason. And the reason is, of course, there's this ongoing inquiry. What is the proper place for it? That's why the committee exists. It's a bipartisan committee with a full staff. That's what they do. And uh, so I'm hopeful that'll get be concluded quickly. And when it does, we'll, we'll respond and comply. You're in a position of trying to, I guess, prove a negative, prove that you didn't seek anything. So how will those documents, I mean, are there, will there be correspondence, will there be emails that will show that any back and forth was more routine as opposed to seeking something? None that I can, just to tell you, I'm not going into the details of all of it. Obviously, I want to uh, get nothing I commented, I filled out whatever questionnaires the committee had 20 weeks ago and made the point. We went back and examined in my office whether or not there was any, ever any phone conversations, emails, letters from any senior people uh, at, the, at this uh, company uh, with our office. Uh, and, and there was absolutely no record whatsoever. I've scoured the records on the assumption that even a record of, of a call could be interpreted somehow as having some influence on this question of whether or not influence was sought or offered in the process. Uh, so that's what I can tell you, certainly in our records that I've gone through, because obviously that's the issue. The allegation is that we sought or offered or aware of some special unique treatment because I was a senator uh, and regarding our mortgage. Again, the mortgage transaction, the standard rates and so forth were available publicly because it was advertised publicly at the time. But nonetheless, that's an appropriate time for that to come out to be worked through and for me to get involved in the details of it at this point, what investigation or an inquiry is ongoing. Uh, so, 